Okay, so I think projects are one of the best ways to showcase your coding skills. How do you architect good software? And while I wouldn't know much about the good part, here's my favorite approach. The chances are you're gonna have a topic anyways. Let's say software design, or actually let's go into a more practical example. Let's say we were making like a banking app, okay? I know that's a big deal. You're probably gonna have colleagues and teams working on that. It's rarely gonna be you by yourself, but let's just assume we have a banking app as an example, then the first thing I always do for planning on how to, you know, the, the steps for this application that we need to take in order for this to become a real project is first off, what is involved in the project, right? In the case of a banking app, assume security features like multi-factor authentication are gonna be important. Things like uh, user auth in general. And each one of these is not just the question of how do I authenticate users, but which route do I take? Do I use like a provider, like a clerk or kind? Do I use open source software like uh, Next Auth, for example, the software we use for the authentication, or do we completely roll our own authentication from scratch, right? Each of these like user auth real-time transaction transactions there we go are gonna be huge for a banking app in terms of feature importance right and there's entirely different questions like the ui that is not logic based but in and of itself brings a lot of questions do we use a ui library to achieve this do we roll our own styles and so on but the the way i go about this always is i choose the one that is the hardest for me personally to do it doesn't matter if it might be easy for other people right if you figured that you've never done multi-factor authentication before, try doing that as the first thing in building out your project. If you're super horrible at front end, right? I know not everybody likes front end. Try building the hard part. For you, that might be the UI first. If you've never done authentication, do that first. Or for me personally, that would be real-time transactions. Do we use like database transactions for that or web sockets or both? And there's a lot of beauty about doing the hardest part that you don't know you can do first. So this is, for example, the thesis project. I'm doing for my bachelor's degree. I'm a full-time student and this is like the minimal implementation of the logic that I need for my thesis prototype in order to complete the thesis successfully. So the idea behind this, uh, behind the thesis project for me is essentially there's a mock database. Let me show you that. The database is not even real. This is exactly what I mean. Choose the hardest part and do a super basic implementation but where the functionality is in place. So for example, this right here is the database. There is no actual database. It's just a, you know, JSON kind of representation of two products with images I got from the internet. And that's the database. It doesn't look pretty whatsoever, but it gets the core functionality implemented into the app. So the idea behind this is we have a database and that contains some images, like for example, a jeans jacket. This is like a shop for jackets. It's what it's supposed to be. And then we have like a leather jacket, for example, as well. And then we can basically upload an image of any person wearing a jacket. And when that image comes in, essentially we're gonna go ahead to the database. And if the person is wearing a leather jacket, for example, then we're gonna recommend products that are leather jackets to that person. This might be the ugliest thing you've seen in your life, but the thing is it works. If we go into the network tab, let's click choose a file. And I'm just gonna select like a leather jacket here. That's gonna make a request to our API endpoint. And then once that is successful, it's gonna give us the most similar entry, a that's German, but it means leather jacket, right? And the beautiful um, thing about this approach is that it gives you so much confidence that you implemented the hardest part already that all the other parts like multi-factor authentication in the case of a banking app, right? User authentication, UI, and so on, that will come super easily when you have the confidence of already having done the most important part. Step one would be figure out what you need. And by that, I mean features. What do you need in your application in terms of features? Authentication, UI, and so on. Then you're gonna go ahead and choose the hardest of exactly those that you figured out in step one. And then super importantly, implement the hardest part first. That's gonna give you a lot of confidence in building out the rest of the application. And then you can worry about making it look good, for example, because I think front end comes pretty naturally to most that watch the channel. So chances are the logical things are gonna be the hardest part, at least mostly for me, that's the case. It's mostly how do I handle the real-time transactions? How do we architect the software for it? Which languages do we use on the back end, right? For a current project, not the thesis one I'm building, but another one. I wanted to do it in Go, but then I figured, well, I'm not that good in Go, so I'm gonna do it in TypeScript first and then switch over to Go maybe later on, but implement the core stuff first in languages that you know, maybe I should put that in here, doesn't have to be scalable. 
because I think many times people worry about scalability and optimization way too early. It, it doesn't have to be, man. Just uh, just choose the tag that you're comfortable with building this out. You can always rewrite it later to be more scalable. If you want that, then make it look good. And I think that's a really good game plan on building out your project.